What's up, guys? Greg from Spartans Legacy here. Uh, we recently randomly matched Colt September. Uh, bit of a weird story. We are unsure if we wanted to declare or not, and we did, and it's a facto Colt September. Um, they had a bit of a town hall uh, advantage. Uh, when I say a bit, I say a lot. Uh, they had seven town hall 11s. Um, we had three town hall 11s and one 10.5 on our side. Uh, and they had a lot of hero levels on us, but I'm not going to go into all that. What I want to cover is I'm actually extremely impressed with our clan and how we pulled together for this one, this war, I'm sorry. Uh, we lost by one star. Uh, we actually gave them a real run for their money in this one. Uh, I just want to go over a couple of attacks. Um, I have to include this one, uh, just because <laughs> Professor Tom's an absolute monster. Um... So he's going to triple a Town Hall 11 here. Um, sorry, this is moving extremely slow right now. So <laughs> he's going to do a Queen Walk. He's going to drop his Wall Breakers and his Barbarian King. He's going to be able to get two Air Defenses and the Eagle at the end of this little section right here. So his King's down. Wizard in to funnel him into there. He's going to activate his ability. And the first Air Defense is going to go down. Queen is working up. Uh, queen is working its way up top. I'm sorry, uh, that was terrible English. So wall breakers into it, and he activates the CC with the king. Here comes the CC. He's going to drop poison and a rage, and there goes the CC. It's that. It seems so simple. He makes it look like it's nothing, but it's really not. So. With this queen walk, I, I can't even imagine planning this out because I can't think that far ahead. I mean, look at all the defenses he's gotten with this queen walk. Important ones as well. Uh, two air defenses. I know one was taken down by the king. He's going to take down an archer tower, a tesla, an expo, I believe. The queen goes down as well. Um, and the eagle. The eagles are extremely, extremely tough to deal with during a raid. Um... And he makes it look like it's nothing. So he's going to start his Laloon portion here on the backside. And he's going to put his Grand Warden with him just because the Grand Warden ability on Loons is ridiculous. So first Hound is in. Loons are down. And there goes the second one. And he does it. Look, he makes it look easy. Just plain, <laughs> plain old easy. So here comes the, the Loons in. Tearing apart the base pretty much. Queen is still alive. Free spells down. Take down the uh, the Grand Warden. A couple other defenses just to help his loons get through. And he's still holding on to his Grand Warden ability. I mean, it, he holds it for so long just because he knows pathing, everything like that. I, I'm a Town Hall 11 and I can't even begin to imagine planning this out. So, loons are still up. I mean, look how many loons he still has. He has a full Queen. And he's going to activate his ability here just to get the Inferno Tower, but <sighs> I can't even. So, let me speed this up a little bit. Sorry, guys, that was a little bit of a misclick, but at this point, he's just clean up. Fr freeze on the Inferno Tower. We're going to clean it all up, but just an absolute monstrous hit. I mean, I can't even begin. Uh, I don't even know. So... Wanted to show that one off because it was such a great attack. Uh, some of the guys from Cold September didn't like it, but I'm not going to buy into it. Next, I ran a little bit of a challenge on this war. Uh, I, was, I bought two $10 gift cards. I still have to get them to these guys. And what, it was, what the challenge was was the fastest Town Hall 10 or 11, triple for the Town Hall 10s and 11s, and the fastest Town Hall 9 triple. Uh, Tom won this one with his attack on this base. Zap Quakes, an Inferno Tower, and an, uh, an Air Defense. Beautifully done. Here comes his Kill Squad to get the Queen and CC. I mean, watching this in real real time was just unbelievable. Uh, great attack by him. His Hounds and Loons are down. Grand Warden with him. And he just absolutely wrecks this base. Great pathing by the Loons. Great thought process. And he still has nine that he hasn't even put down yet. So, activates Grand Warden ability. 
there goes the other air, another air defense, and the Inferno Towers are already down. And at this point, it's basically just cleanup. <sighs> he did it so fast and made it look so easy. It was truly amazing. Like I said, this war, we were kind of not expecting to win, um, just because of the Town Hall mismatch. But, obviously, we pulled together and gave it a run. I mean, uh, it was really great to watch, really fun to be in. I mean, I was at work all day and raiding at work, pretty much ignoring my customers, which was a lot of fun. And by that, I mean terrible. Next winner is Kunk. That's kind of a weird abbreviation for that name, but... He's going to bring witches into this raid and does a beautiful job. I haven't really done too many witch raids as Town Hall 9 recently. i uh, been mostly doing like Gohos or La Loons. I'm not very good at La Loons. But great job. It's Kill Squad. He did a great job funneling them into that compartment there. Witches are still coming in. Jump spell is down. Here comes this, the CC troops. And he still has 15 hogs that he still hasn't even deployed yet beautifully done i believe this was a cleanup attack i'm not totally sure don't quote me on that but does a great job ripping this base apart hogs are coming in does a great job pacing them so he doesn't trip too many bombs heal is down perfectly for them to to run into just a great attack really happy to see this our town hall nines for the last couple wars have been struggling um nothing against them i'm also one of them uh, but it's just been one of those things we've been struggling on. So at this point, all defenses are down. It's basically just clean up. He had clean up loons, everything. Uh, beautiful attack, well planned out. I mean, can't get better than that. So guys, at this little break here, um, wanted to talk about my intro. I obviously changed it up. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm still editing, still working, but I figured I'd try something new. If you guys want to see something different, something other, let me know. Um, I'm open to suggestions. I'm not really that kind of guy who's going to be like, nah, that's what I want to do. Okay, so the last replay I want to show you is by Knack. Um, does a great mixture of attack here. It's going to zap quick that air defense there. Minions down. Really well thought out. There goes the loon just to break that uh, archer tower uh, down. Excuse me, I um, just got off of work a little bit ago. Been working on this for a while. <laughs> Great job with the funnel here. Golem deployment with Wiz. And here comes the Wallies to break in. And Queen is down along with the Valks and the Barbarian King. Here goes two more air defenses, and he has one left, and he opens the pass beautifully to the queen with the king here. There was a P.E.K.K.A. in the CC. I believe this was a cleanup because um, somebody failed on the on a queen walk for this. Um, P.E.K.K.A.s in the CC can really mess things up. I've seen it a lot recently just because they do so much damage. They can almost one-shot your, your queen. So at this point, he has one air defense left, two hounds. And a couple loons drops him down and basically just runs through the base at this point. Really well done attack. I know I say that about everyone. I mean, I'm obviously showing all the three stars. But really, just want to stress the point that I was happy that our clan did well. We were up against it and we did a phenomenal job. I was really happy with everybody. The morale was great. So... Like I said before, let me know what you guys think of the intro. Let me know what you guys want. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing just an update video on um, the uh, clan system and like the new clan, everything like that. I'll have that already. And I'm also trying to set up a video with Tom and Grizz just to have them talk about everything that's going on in Spartan's Legacy, everything that happened. All right, guys. Thanks. Let me know what you think.